Hey guys, what is going on? This is the BMC or Batman Minecraft Code back with another episode. Today we are doing um, uh, coding on TI-84 calculator. As you can see, I have the um, silver edition. It's pretty sweet, pretty cool. So here we go into it. Um, this is obviously the first video of this series, and obviously I'll make a um, a what's it called a uh, Ah, I can't remember anyway so today we're gonna I don't know we'll probably just uh, take a look over how to make a factor program There's a lot of people need this in any most of their classes so we will be taking a look at how to make a factoring program so you can factor all those binomials out there that you need to do and see if they are factable factorable or not so here we go Oh, this will be a, in a playlist. That's what I couldn't remember. It'll be in a playlist prior to coding. So this is episode one, and this will be how to make a factor program. So first of all, just to get kind of into uh, into this, if you don't know how to program, um, as you can see right down here, there is a PRGM button. This means program. It's to the right of the apps button, uh, to down to from the delete right there, PRGM. Now. What this will do, you can hit program. I obviously have a lot of programs here. Yours will probably be blank if you don't have any programs. So you're going to go over to new, you're going to hit enter, and you're going to call it, I don't know, probably just call it factor. Okay. You can only put eight um, letters onto the screen, so I, I could add like an N and a G, but I couldn't obviously spell all factoring. Anyway, so then you hit enter and then it bring you up this colon and then start your first line of code now I already have the program made so I will just show you how um, you can do this and I'll show you where a bunch of the buttons are I'll go through it with you so I'll quit out of that one I already go to it so here it is I just called it factor that was my original one so make sure edit it go back up to it enter okay so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna I mean if you want to go ahead and code this you can just follow along and do everything that uh, is on the screen so your first line of code you're gonna make a label and it's gonna be label 2 so you're gonna hit program label is number 9 right there so you hit program and hit 9 or you go down to 9 in the header and then it'll go there and then you press 2 label 2 then you're gonna go down to clear home which is hit the program go right and go down to 8 which is clear home what clear home does it basically just clears the screen so um, so it won't uh, display the text that's on the screen it'll clear the whole thing before it goes into it <clears throat> and then we're gonna store one as a variable D and you'll see what that's used for later so it just basically if you hit D equals it would equal one because you stored one into D store one into F as well you're gonna display display just oops, sorry about that guys it just displays text onto the screen so and then you have to do quotes otherwise um, it won't uh, display it properly it'll give you an error like a syntax error <clears throat> so you quote and then this is your basic idea for your binomial ax squared plus bx plus c uh, you're gonna have um, just go down and your next few lines here are gonna be prompt a prompt b and prompt c which are found by hitting program go right one and it's the second one down um, in order to get the variables yeah if you don't know this you hit the alpha button and then you have all your variables a b c d e f g and it goes all the way down through c now once you got that you're gonna keep going down after this you're gonna put another clear home again this clears the screen what these prompts do it'll just give you like a question mark and um, when you and well and it'll display this above it right here this ax squared plus bx plus c so these are just your uh, your um, what are you called your uh, your numbers before your x squareds or y squareds or whatever the x is or you know it could be any variable there so this could be like 2x squared plus 4x plus 8 and that would work anyway so let's continue on so okay so that's the clear home you're going to make another label which is program and then nine you're going to make label one and then these are just storing the uh, variables that you're going to be needing um for it so you know a divided by d and you're going to store it as e c divided by f and store it as g 
Then you go if, if is just program and one right there, or enter, if. If E does not equal, you can hit does not equal by hitting second, and then hit the math key, and then go down to two, and it'll be does not equal. Hit that, and then round, you can go round by hitting second, and if you go down here, uh, right above the zero, it says catalog. You hit second, and then catalog, and it'll bring you here, uh, click R, it'll go down here, go down to the ROs, there's round, hit enter, it'll bring out here, if E does not equal round, and then E comma, comma is found right here, and then zero, and then you're going to go down, then is just program, and it's two right there, and you continue down, sorry. D plus one stores D, go, uh, go to one, go do is program, and it's zero, which is right here, go to, and then go to one. What that means is it goes to label one if E is not equal to round of E comma zero. So it goes back to here and does it again. Make sure you put an N there, otherwise it won't work. And then if G does not equal round G comma zero, then F plus one stores F, one store D, and go to one. And make sure you have that end. Scroll down. If D times G plus F times E equals B, then go to Z, and label Z will be later. Else, which is program three, D plus one store D and end. So that means if it doesn't equal B, then D stores, or yeah, D plus one stores in D. Continue down, make sure you put an end there. If D is greater than, greater than the second math right there, greater than, <clears throat> Absolute value, which I believe can be found in math somewhere. Absolute value, yep, we'll go right one. Um, of A, then negative D stores D, D plus one store D, and if D equals zero, then scroll down, F plus one stores an F, one stores D, and end. If F is greater than the absolute value of C, then negative F store F, F plus one store F end. Make sure you have that end. It's very important. Scroll down. If F equals zero, then display quote not factorable. You have to type that out. To get the space here, you have to hit the alpha key right here and go down to right here. And there's that little green bar there. You probably can't see it real well. You have to hit that and it'll create a little space uh, in between the the words there sorry and then stop which is program you go up and it's right there to stop else program three go to one and okay now here's label z remember program nine for label and then alpha z output which is program right and then it's six right right here and there's your output one comma one comma quote left bracket which is right here your brackets are right here just soft brackets left bracket space space x plus space space right bracket left bracket space space x plus right bracket right or sorry space space right bracket quote new line if D is less than one, and your and can be found by hitting second math, and then hitting the right arrow key, and there's your and, these are all your gates, there's your and gate right there, and E is less than one, then negative D, D store D, negative E store E, negative F store F, negative G store G, and there we go, and then your output, which is again, um, program right, and it's six, one comma two comma d new line output one comma six comma f sorry that was one comma two up here output one comma ten comma e and output one comma fourteen comma g and then pause what a pause did or where it pauses uh program and it's eight right there there we go now for a menu 
menu is program you can go up it's C right here it says menu and then we, you have to quote try again with a question mark the question mark is right here and again you have to alpha and then that key and to bring up a question mark <clears throat> and then quote comma quote yes quote comma two comma quote no quote comma six here's label six again label is program nine and then clear home which is program right and eight right down there clear um, stop and that's the end of the program so obviously you're probably gonna have to pause this video several times to make sure you got it right if you do want to program this um, then I'm gonna show you that it does work I don't really I don't have any oops sorry about that. I don't have any uh, factors with me or ones that I've done but it does work uh, I do hint of warning though if you have like really big factoring it'll take some time and sometimes if they're huge it it takes a long time um, so to execute it you hit program key again ex ec means execute you can go down to your program there it is right there hit enter it'll bring you to this screen program factor then go ahead and hit enter it should look like something like this so this is prompting you for the first one so we're just going to put in one because if it's just x squared there's always a one Hey guys, we're back. Um, I'm sorry for that. My camera actually died. Um, so here we are back. Um, actually, off footage, I took some time to write down a few um, uh, factual uh, trinomials. That's what I meant earlier. I didn't mean to, mean to say binomials. This works for trinomials. So if you heard that at the beginning of the video, sorry about that. I meant trinomials. Uh, hopefully, you're still watching. Um, so here we go. Um, for the first one here, um, let's see how we can do this. Here we go, I'll just fold it. It's x squared plus 2x plus 1. That should equal x plus 1 times x plus 1. So what this should equal. So let's go ahead and do this. So as I said before, x squared is just, there's always a 1 in front of it. So hit enter, bring it down to the b, which is the second term. So there's 1, and then the second one was 2x. So we just put a 2. And the last one, hit enter again, is a 1. Go ahead and hit enter. It will take you here. There are your factors. It, has to, it gives you two spaces in case it's like 12x. So it's x plus 1 times x plus 1. Because 1x. It's pause. So then I go ahead and hit enter again. And then we do want to try again because we have a second one. Which is x squared plus 10x minus 4. It should equal 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 4. So let's go ahead and hit that. 6, 10, and negative 4. Hit enter. And it takes some time. And it calculates it out. There it is. 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 4. And that's what we get. And one more. This one's a bigger one. And it is 12x squared plus 13x minus 14. We should get 3x minus 2 times 4x plus 7. Let's go ahead and enter that. 12, 13. Make sure you put negative beforehand, not a minus a negative, and a negative 14. Hit enter. It's thinking. It's thinking. And there you go. 3x minus 2 times 4x plus 7. That's what we got. And then just to show you, like, let's just enter a bunch of random numbers. Um, if, it do, if it doesn't factor, it'll give you this screen. Not factorable. And they immediately end the program. Anyway, guys, so... Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you like this factor um, video and it'll help you on those tests and working for it. Again, don't make too big of uh, factors because then it won't work right and you'll have to use the on button to quit your program. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, always good to you know hear what you guys think about the video. and. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully you liked it, and again, this is the BMC signing off, and this is, I think is pretty sweet, and so I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. See ya.